here inside the marked showroom kung saan po naka-feature ang disenyo ng ating Pinoy Pride, our very own Donny Barrios for Crispin and Basilio. You've heard it, they've heard it, you've heard it everywhere sa mga magazines na babasa nyo. Ngayon, confirmed na po. Pinoy po ang designer ng Crispin and Basilio and he's here joining us and showing us some of his collections. Donny, welcome once again to Kababay in thank LA. You. And first of all, actually, thank you na pinasuot mo sa akin itong, itong napakagandang dress na to. <laughs> tell me about this and tell us about this design. This this dress is from the holiday collection, which we do mostly specifically for that time of the year where girls go to parties, so that's why, hence the red cranberry color, it's more festive. Um, as everything that we do, it's, it's feminine, it has details, but it's also easy to wear, very important to us. And, if you want to show the back. I like the <laughs> sleeves and I like the back because it's backless. It's there. <laughs> Although I'm wearing something inside. It's a little sexy, but not too much. It's still very important to us to have modesty, but I think a lot of girls like to have that little, you know, feminine factor, and especially during the holidays. Now, earlier we were talking about New York, and now you're in Los Angeles. Yes. Magkaiba ba ang fashion? They always say that it's different. I think there is a little bit of a difference. We're a little bit more casual here. Um, but they look to our celebrities here for what they wear there too, so I think it's just closer than it was ever before, but um, our style here has a little bit of casualness to it. At mas sexy ba dito or sa New York ba mas parang out of this world? I think, I think they're both sexy but in very different ways. I think because of our weather here, they're, it's sexier in a skin kind of way, but, but right now it's kind of like meshing. Some people there prefer, like, mix it up. That's what we, we do here in L.A., we mix it up. So. But, Shembre, but fall and winter, we can't bear that much skin because it's so cold. Um, let's talk about some of the pieces you have here, a jacket. Yeah, um, you know, together with dresses, it's it's the next most important thing to us is the jacket. Like, this jacket is a crop trench. It's basically the same details as a traditional trench, but with a fresher silhouette, a little shorter. We always make the jackets to match the dresses, um, especially for the colder, colder times, so, but in, in, it's in a little bit more casual fabric. I like the, the material. What, what kind of fabric is this? It's actually a cotton velveteen. Or, I'm sorry, cotton velvet. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, it is, it, the cotton plays it down a little bit so that it's not so glamorous and so casual. I mean, uh, and so formal. Okay. Um, we do, I personally... You can wear it with jeans, you can yeah, wear it with dress and all yeah. that stuff. I want I want to um, talk about this because you're Filipino. Yung pagka-Pilipino mo ba lumalabas sa design mo? And I'm thinking this reminds me of the Maria Clara sleeves, yung medyo puffy and, uh -huh, you know. Uh -huh. I, I think subconsciously, I'm sure it's very literal, but I mean, part of being Filipino is very being very hodgepodge. So I think having that many influences, both there and here, is exactly what the most Filipino thing is about me and I think about all of us. Do you still go to the Philippines? Um, not since they canceled Northwest Smoking Flight. Oh. <laughs> no. But I, my, my family visits me here. Most of my family is here, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to um, talk about a little bit more about what you have here. Tell me, what were, what are your favorite pieces from among this rack? Um, there, there are um, all of these. Like, they like children, so you can't say they're favorite. But I'd love to talk about the leather jacket um, because the dresses are very feminine. You know, I think it's a good twist to have something a little bit more masculine, something a little bit more rugged. Wearing a silk dress and something distressed like that is probably a better idea than having a silk or a formal or a beaded jacket as well. I like the detail of this one, especially when the zipper goes all the way up. You can wear it as a turtleneck and you can wear it with color like that. And you can, yeah. yeah, and it's also very distressed, so it's like those vintage jackets that you try hard to find in the vintage store. It already has the tightness on it, the distress factor, but um, yeah, we love this jacket. And then some of the pieces, and the, the, here's another interesting dress. This is actually like a spin-off of a tank dress. It's a very simple concept, but um, we, we, we love the bows. I think as a male designer, it's my uh, naive approach to feminine femininity. Mm -hmm. Um, but doing it with a twist, not just having a bow on it, but using the bow as purposeful for draping the fabric. So everything functions. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that's just plop. Right. Um, but it all will end up to be as if it was just for the bow. So.
thank you so much to you and actually to your viewers for supporting your show and supporting us here. Um, I hope the support continues as I do this, not just for myself, but for all of us and for the pride that I hopefully do give to you guys. So. Thank you so much once again. More power to you and continue making us proud. Thank you so much.